So today I was looking for a new place to explore and I was trying to choose between two places. Uh, one place was closer to me distance wise, but I knew it could definitely be more crowded with people. And the other place was much further away driving distance. And I didn't know if there'd be a lot of people there or not. I really had no idea what to expect. Yeah, this kind of decision making, it almost makes me want to just stay home and not do anything because I start overthinking about everything. But I finally decided to like just drive a bit further and head up into the mountains and see what I would come across. Okay, so I made it to this place called the Ice House Reservoir. This nice lake out here, and I've uh, never been here before, so I thought I'd come and check it out. And I'm really glad I did because it is really beautiful out here. So, and there's like no one out here, it's very quiet, very peaceful. So, I was feeling pretty good at this point. I was, I was like, wow, nobody here, this is great. So, I got out and I just started walking down towards the reservoir. The level of the lakes. Or the reservoir here is kind of low, as expected, I guess, with this drought in California. But there's some nice mountains in the background here. Over here you'll see some snow on the mountains. So we're going to do a painting of that, I think, of this lake with the mountains and stuff. Just going to find a nice spot over here somewhere. But definitely a beautiful place. And I ended up seeing this beautiful mountainscape in the background, way in the distance, snow-capped mountains and it was just amazing and i think in that moment i kind of knew like all right this is definitely top of my list this is probably what i'm going to paint while i'm here and because of my indecisiveness in the morning i didn't really get here till late in the afternoon like 2 p.m and the sun was getting close to setting you know the sun goes down a lot earlier this time of year and it was starting to lose i was starting to lose the sun behind the trees so i was like all right i gotta start setting up so i got a location in the shade of these trees started setting up my painting uh, gear. I was feeling really hopeful at this time. Like this is the last page of this sketchbook. Like this is gonna be really epic. New new place, great location, epic scenery. Like, all right, this is awesome. You know, this is gonna be great. So I started the painting and the beginning of the process felt really good. It was, it was going really well. You know, the beginning of a painting is usually for me, it's usually like the easiest part, you know, it's the most carefree part. I don't really have to worry too much about the color or decisions I'm making. But of course, as things happen, the more I filled in the painting, you know, I started feeling a little more worried and this worry kind of led to frustration. I started overworking it a little bit and uh, I was just kind of worried about how this painting might turn out. To be honest, everything was going pretty well. Most of the painting was going really well. There was just a few areas I was struggling with. So I decided to just keep going. You know, it's still early. It's early in the process. So I don't want to get too worked up, get caught up in my emotions. So just continued on. You know, I just let the first layer dry a bit. I tried to focus on simplification, really keeping things simple. I was squinting a lot, looking at my subject, really trying to break every, all this stuff out there in the wild, you know, just trying to break it down into its simplest form. And then while I'm painting and while I'm doing all this during the process, the sun started shining through the trees. The light was changing very quickly. So where I was sitting, I, I first set up in shade, but then as I was painting, light started going onto my sketchbook. So now I had to kind of readjust myself, move everything, shift myself. So this kind of like, you know, it kind of breaks the flow a little bit of, of you know, the painting process, so to speak. So that was something else I was struggling with while I was out there. And not to mention, it started getting a lot colder because I was, I was in the shade. So now, and I'm not moving around. So my ears were getting cold, my nose was getting cold, my fingers were getting really cold. It's just difficult to paint while my fingers were like getting numb almost. And the more layers I started adding to this painting, I started feeling more unsure about the outcome. Like, how is this going to turn out? And I started doubting myself a bit. The, the main part I was worried about were the trees in the painting. That was really, 
I for sure thought they were going to be ruined. And, and it was kind of a bummer for me because those are like, the, that's like a major part of this painting, right? It's all these trees going across the painting. It's like a major thing for me. And, and I, I, I really love trees and I've painted them for many years. So that was kind of messing with my head as well because it's something I'm really confident painting normally. So for it to be the worst part of the painting, it's kind of like even more of a, a hit to my ego and kind of like really ruining my confidence in the moment. But despite all this, I still felt like a little bit of hope, like the whole thing isn't ruined, right? I could still fix this somehow. So I tried to calm down. I didn't want to get caught up too much in my emotions. And I started thinking back to the fundamentals, like what does the painting need? What, what can I do to fix this? I let it dry a little bit and I started thinking about simplification. So how could I simplify all these trees? I started thinking a little bit about color variety and adding some shadows here and there and making some trees stand out. And luckily, I was pretty happy with the outcome. You know, when I finished the painting, I felt really good. I felt like at peace. I feel like, all right, this was a good way to end the sketchbook. It didn't come out too bad. You know, maybe it looks a little bit overworked, but overall, not a bad painting, right? Uh, definitely good effort, I feel like. It, it definitely came out realistic, but probably just slightly overworked more than what I like to do. You know, with my sketches and travel sketches and plein air paintings, I like it to be a really strong statement, really simple. And I like it to look as if it was painted very effortlessly, very minimal effort. You know, you can still see the brush strokes here and there. I like it to just look very fresh. And sometimes, or even a lot of the time, my paintings don't end up this way. And I think this one, there are some areas of it that are really fresh, really nice, but overall, maybe a little overworked, but you know, I don't let it bum me out too much because I know it's just part of the process, right? Like each painting is just another step in the journey of, of this, you know, plein air adventure of this travel sketching of my painting career, my painting journey. So it's just another thing to learn from. And uh, for me, it's really about going out there and having the experience, right? Being in nature. That's another part of it is like, it's not just the painting itself. It's the whole epic experience for me getting out there seeing some amazing things taking some photos and videos just remembering what happened and uh, the painting is kind of just a, a memory a way for me to remember that place and remember that time and it's an interesting way to save memories rather than just photos and videos you know and it's something i created so it kind of goes beyond technology you know it's something created by humans so i, I really like that aspect of like travel sketching and painting from life so I'm definitely looking forward to traveling in new places and having some new experiences in the future. And hopefully on the next episode, I'll travel to that other place that was new for me and uh, we'll check that one out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you on the next one.